Hello and welcome back to the tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed and today I'll be showing you how to download Windows drivers on XP, Vista 7 or Windows 8. This should work for all of the operating system. The previous system has been tested. I'm hoping it should work on Windows 8 as well. Now, before you start installing your Windows drivers, you'll have to think which one, which drivers are already installed and you'll need to know which ones are installed and which ones are not working. And what happens is some people think that they'll just go online and find the drivers and install. You can't do that. You have to make sure you get the right drivers so you don't end up messing up your computer and having to reformat again. Now, to find out which window, which drivers are already installed and working, you would click on the start button, right click on computer and click on properties. When you do that, it will bring up the system information. Now you'll need to click on right here, device manager. Click on that and it should open up the device manager which will show you all the devices that are working. Currently on my computer, they're all working because they've been installed. Sorry, my laptop actually. Now, if for some reason uh, a keyboard driver is not installed, it'll have this triangle next to it, a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark. And that indicates that drive driver is not working or is not compatible, so you will have to probably update it or download the drivers for it. Now, how do you know what make your hardware components are? So to know which company they're from or to find out more information about them, we have a very useful tool by Windows called System Information, which allows you to gain all the information about your hardware peripherals connected to your computer. Now if you go ahead and go expand the connect, uh, components section, you'll see there's quite a lot of stuff here which we can use. You can even go into hardware resources for the stuff, but we don't actually need that at this moment in time. So for example, if my display driver is not working, then I would come on here, click on display, and I would just look, and there's the name. I have an ADI Mobile Radon, uh, Radeon, sorry, uh, and it's a 1GB graphic card. And with knowing the company, uh, what I can do is I can go onto the ATI website, I can type in the name of the uh, the name of the graphic card, and I can download drivers from there. Uh, just to show you an example, uh, let's go on ATI drivers, and there we go. It should take you directly. You, what you do is you just select uh, your graphic card from here, and so on. That's it. Simple as that. Now. Uh, one of the other options that people have or uh, they can use is to actually use a program itself, a program like Driver Genesis Pro. Driver Genesis Pro allows you to scan your computer and download the, so it does everything for you. Now I have the I have the link to download this setup in the description down below, so please feel free to do that. And please, people, don't don't complain. There's no ads. What you do is you just simply click on that. And it, it might show some sort of stuff down here, uh, and you just have to wait for this. Please wait, and it'll click skip ad. When you click on skip ad, it'll take you directly to the download link. Okay, now when you have downloaded it and uh, it's uh, exp uh, extracted out, what you do is you click on this one, the setup, and you just go through the setup. I'll do it right in front of you. Next, and you want to copy that, leave it for later and create desktop icon, no problem, and install. When it's installed, please do not untick this. You don't want to launch it before <laughs> before, uh, before we finish cracking it. So click on the finish button, and then when you've done that, you want to open up any, so just go on start and click on computer, and that URL you copied, you just want to paste it here. Now, if you didn't, then I'll just show you. Go on to OS, and if you're using a 64-bit Windows, then you click on X, 86, or if you're using 32 bit, you just click on program files. So just go in here. Um, there it is. Click on driver genus, and when you're in this directory right here, you want to click and drag this driver genus.exe file, which is 2 MB big, and you want to drop it here. And then it'll ask you to replace it. I'll just say move and replace. Make sure you replace it, don't copy. When you do that, now you want to run the program. So double click on the file, and it should start running. Do not update this program. You sh it should everything should be there. So if they would like to update, no, thank you. When it click, uh, when it opens up, just click start scan. It'll scan the whole database, and it'll give you some figures. Now I'm saying some of the drivers in here need to be updated, not installed, but updated. Some of these are old, so I guess 
what you do is you just make your selections which whenever ones you want to install uh, so say I want to update my sound break, uh, my AMD sound, AMD bridge and sound drivers everything else is good to go click fix now and it'll say well you need to register for that just go ahead and click yes and open the serial text up and here's the serial address you just copy any one of these and paste it into here and you click register and it'll say thank you for registering just gonna restart the program okay I'm gonna restart so you're good to go you just click the scan button and just in a moment it will give you the figures again and you just choose the ones you want to install and that's the way you can do it so just go ahead and make your selections um, I think I'm good with that. click fix now and then what it will do is it will just go ahead and download these from the website one of the other things you can do is you can simply go on start and type in system information and when system information comes up uh, it'll take you directly to the system summary, and it'll show you the manufacturer of your lap of your uh, computer or laptop, and it'll show you model number and what type it is. So mine's a Dell Studio 1558 with 64-bit system based. So we using this information, we can go on Google and type in Dell Studio 15 um, drivers download Windows 7. So if you download it for XP or Vista, just type in that. And we'll take you to the support website from Dell. And this is a quite a useful website. So if you have the service tag, which you can find at the bottom of your laptop or your computer, uh, if, if not, then you can use these other services. I like to use this one. Choose a product from the list. Click continue. Mine's a laptop. Mine's a studio. As it says right here, studio. Now it's 1558. So we all we do is we'll just look for that. 1558 click on it and there we have it and then if you scroll down you can choose your bio system which mine only comes in 64 bit you can also download your bio drivers and you can choose a category from here so if you want to download the drivers for your audio or display drivers and so on and that's the other way of this is the genuine way so this way you can download the complete version uh, of your laptop when you first bought it and that's it from the tutorial, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful and rate the video. If you have any problems, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. The download link is in the description, so feel free to download the program from there. And if you have any other questions, just inbox me. And that's it, I'll see you guys in the tutorial. I'm Hamid from Mac Productions.